Hi everyone, this is Bonnie. I'm going to show you how you're going to change your impulse sealer. So, when you use your impulse sealer, today what I'm using it for is for my bargain bin grab bags where I seal the top. What I noticed when I sealed the last one is that I've got a hole in it. Eventually, after you use it so often, you know, it only will last so long. And then it needs to be changed. So you can get the spare parts kit for this and you'll be able to change it out. First thing you're going to want to do is to unplug your power. And then there's some little screws here that you want to unscrew them all. The impulse sealers are used for shrink wrapping, sealing a lot of different kinds of plastic, and even this one here which is a a foil and plastic container. So they really come in handy. Even though I use mostly paper packaging now, a lot of people um, that I do business with that are ordering wholesale or private label, they might want plastic. So I'd offer that too. And then sometimes I need to package things in plastic. Sometimes I have little sample bags that are, it's very easy. I can seal them in one second with the impulse sealer, so it's definitely handy. So I'm gonna take off the old one here, which you can see it's definitely really needs to be changed. I shouldn't have let it get this far, but oh well. <laughs> I did. So I'm also going to change. Oh, I think I'm going to have to take it apart further for this. So this comes off very carefully and it, it pulls it with a little bit of tension too. So I'm going to take off this old one because it looks pretty beat up and I'm going to replace it with a new one. This looks like it also needs to be replaced. And they didn't give me extras of the lower one. So I'm going to have to maybe trim from another one and just place it there. Maybe put a little bit of adhesive. So these little machines are great. They don't require a lot of maintenance and it's not very hard, but they do require some. So there's a little um, peg that this will hook onto because each end of these has a loop. So and they have a little bit of tension because they're kind of spring loaded holding each other. So now we have that. We have one under it. We have the heating wire. It's going to get hot. And then we have our replacement top layer. So you just center this over the top. Do your best at holding it there and then try to put these little parts back on.
So this is the last one. It was sealing properly before, but it was clearly needing a change. All right, so let's test it out. Put it on there. There we go. There's the new seal. That's perfect. All right, well, I hope this helped somebody out in knowing how you're going to change these out. If you wanted to have more information on the impulse sealer, I have another video showing how you use it for shrink wrap, so I'll try and link that for you. And also, in the About tab, you'll find some links where you can find places where you can buy this and plastic and different things that are related to that. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And I forgot to put this piece on, so make sure you remember to put this piece on. That's for safety. It gets red hot. Just wanted to point that out because you didn't see me put it back on in the video because I forgot. Hi everyone, this is Bonnie. I'm going to show you how you're going to change your impulse sealer. So, when you use your impulse sealer, today what I'm using it for is for my bargain bin grab bags where I seal the top. What I noticed when I sealed the last one is that I've got a hole in it. Eventually, after you use it so often, you know, it only will last so long. And then it needs to be changed. So you can get the spare parts kit for this and you'll be able to change it out. First thing you're going to want to do is to unplug your power. And then there's some 